Are you feeling angry, upset, frustrated? Then let's take this as an opportunity to calm our horses down so that we can connect with our rational mind before deciding what to do next. So we are going to improve our next moment by connecting with ourselves and allowing our nervous system to activate the parasympathetic part of it, which is our calming, our rest and digest. It's the part of the nervous system that allows our body to heal and recover. And also allows us to connect with our prefrontal cortex, the part of the brain that helps us to make decisions that are the best for us, rather than just fight, flight or freeze. If we are on a fight, flight or freeze, we are likely to engage in automatic behaviours that perhaps is not the behaviours that we want to, such as fighting, arguing or being powerless on the freeze mode, or just run away and get distracted with endless activities or even shopping or eating for comfort or gambling or sex addiction any of the things we feel is a little bit of out of balance and that we may do as a way of covering our emotions so that we don't want to face our emotions we don't want to feel them or make things worse so instead of going into something unhealthy that can potentially have a side effect such as waste of time any problems, relationship problems, let's just um, engage with our part of our body that actually knows what to do, just simply by connecting with our breathing. Let's close our eyes for a moment or two just to notice where we are right now. Close the eyes. You notice how are you feeling right now? On a scale of 1 to 10, how are you feeling right now? There's no judgement. It is what it is. Let's see if you can improve and feel a little bit better. We don't have control over things, other people, but we have control over how we react, how we think and we have a degree of control of our behaviour, the automatic reaction not so much, but then we can hold, get hold of ourselves and then direct and moderate that automatic reaction so that we can engage in actions and options that are more supportive and more in line with the person we want to be. For instance, instead of shouting, I want to be able to express myself assertively. <laughs> I'm sure you all want to do that instead of arguing and shouting. Or instead of saying nothing, we might want to. That would never be me. <laughs> actually, in certain situations, it would be me. Work situations. But actually, I would still say. Um, yeah, so some of us will say what we think. We might even argue, and some of us might say nothing and feel resentful so and the opposite of that would be to be assertive so that we are respectful to ourselves and others and we take into account the needs wants and wishes of ourselves and others and we communicate in a respectful manner so we are in line with the person we want to be not the automatic person that we may be or not the automatic behavior that we might engage because perhaps we learn from it or it's just a habit or perhaps we never learn any better behaviours so with that in mind let's just um, blow away through an exhalation all the things that we no longer need our old habits exhale until we feel your, your belly emptying and your lungs emptying too let go of the feelings you no longer need, 
frustration, anger, resentment, criticism, judgment, let go. It's a moment of peace, it's a moment of calm, it's a moment for us to connect with the person we want to, with a part of the body and the mind that helps us engage in a calm, relaxed, assertive, caring, loving. Let go again. Let go again. Doesn't matter. You may matter, but right now what's more important is to calm the body down. And then let's allow the breath to come into our belly. Because we've, perhaps we've been breathing shallow and or fast or not breathing at all. Let's feel the belly. And we're going to count to three. Hold for three. And out for three. Close the eyes. In. Hold. Out. I'm just going to give you the in and then you're going to count. You're going to hold and you're going to exhale. But I want to remind you in case your breathing is slightly um, different pace than mine. Okay. Going to inhale for four. Hold for four. Out for four. Breathe in. Welcome you. <laughs> At the end of your exhalation, if it's different from mine, just take a natural breath as you wish. And then we restart. <laughs> Let's um, breathe in for three. Hold. Four. Five. Out for seven, breathe in. Well done, you. <laughs> this time we are inhaling, we're going to keep our eyes closed so that we cut down the external stimulation. We're going to put, place our hands in our belly and feel the belly rising and fall. And we're going to notice our body become a little bit more calmer, a bit more relaxed, a bit more present. It becomes more present away from our thoughts and into the body. You can breathe it in for five, hold for seven and out for nine. Breathe in. Well then, you. <laughs> What is the kind of person that you'd like to be right now? Someone that is driven by the impulse and uh, automatic behaviour. Perhaps of shouting, criticising. Or someone that can get hold of their emotions. Whatever we feel is valid. If you feel anger, sadness, depression, whatever that emotion is, it is valid. Frustration, it is valid. It's natural and this is our body trying to look out for us so our mind perceiving a threat however that threat often is a perceived threat not a real threat if you are in danger and if you're physically in danger physically mentally and emotionally make sure you speak with your health professional your doctor so that you and those people involved can be fully supported if you're just getting a little bit wind up and in a way just um, use your breathing to help you calm down so you feel empowered and feel that you are more in control of your reactions rather than letting the automatic reaction, for instance, of anger and frustration, which is a type of anger, milder type of anger, just get a hold of you and your behaviour. So what kind of person would you like to be? Someone perhaps that is in control of their emotions and can use that you can use that energy in a positive way if the body provided you with this extra rush of energy so you're ready to fight or flight or perhaps if you're from the freezing mode and you're trying to preserve that energy and um, just say I'm safe I'm physically safe it's just a perceived threat 
It's not a real threat, it's a perceived threat. You can just calm down these horses, calm down the nervous system, all is well. You wouldn't see it as all is well. There is something that perhaps is getting on your nerves, but um, in the big scheme of things, as a, if you look at it from a survival point of view, as in you're gonna die right now or not die, um, it's just something that perhaps we can navigate through it, just a bit of a rough sea, just a bit of a wave that we need to know how to surf, find our balance and surf it. Let's breathe in for five, hold to seven, out for nine. kind of person we want to be right now. Perhaps a role model. An example of how, perhaps if you're a parent you want to role model how you manage to get hold of yourself, to manage your frustration and anger in front of your kids or, par or partner spouse so that they can also learn what to do. Perhaps you want to have the courage to speak up in an assertive manner. But first, we manage ourselves, our emotions, our body. Breathe in. Breathe out. And let's ask ourselves. Does my impulse and urge and help me be closer to the person and the behaviour I want to have? For instance, if I'm feeling very frustrated and I reach for a bag of crisps and chocolate, it might feel satisfying in the moment and does help me feel a bit more relaxed. I can feel my tension. But is this the habit I want to have and maintain? I like to eat that in enjoyment, not out of frustration, because then it's causing a second problem. Weight gain. Bad mood. <laughs> or for instance, if I go shopping, I might feel better in a moment, but then I'm spending more money than perhaps I want to spend and cluttering the house with things I don't actually need. So I'm creating two extra problems. Plus I'm feeling guilty at the end for spending the money. Perhaps drinking. I don't drink, but some people do drink, and in the moment they feel better, but then the alcohol influences their behaviour and in turn they cause more damage. Gambling, I don't gamble, but again, you could waste money you don't have, you can lose the trust and cause more problems in the relationship. And drugs and smoking. I don't do neither of those things, but they might make you feel better in the moment, but they will cause other problems in the future and in the now, in your health, in your relationships. So those are not healthy solutions. They might make you feel better, but they're truly not in line with the person. Are they truly in line with the person you want to be, with the behaviour you want to have? What would you rather? have a behaviour that helps you feel better in this moment that actually makes you feel better now and has no side effects or engage in a behaviour that makes you feel better but then causes more problems, makes you feel guilty. I know which one I rather engage. The natural, no side effects. And that is our breathing. Let's close our eyes, breathe in for five, hold for seven, out for nine. We might have the automatic impulse of trying to control, criticize, judge, because we want to feel secure, safe. But how is this helping us? be the person we want to be, 
we want to be controlling or someone that trusts and takes into account others' needs as well as mine, as well as, our, as well as ours. Would you like to be, would we like to be in the receiving end of that controlling judgment, criticism, or would we like someone to treat us with calmness, respect, perhaps raising the issue in a relaxed, respectful, loving manner? So what kind of person do we want to be right now? Put in for five, hold for seven, out for nine. Than you. What kind of person? What kind of behavior? We can do this. You can do this. Let's <laughs> bring a little smile to our face. <laughs> Feel a little proud for engaging in a moment of calmness. Just resetting the clock. Just looking at the compass. Going south or going north? <laughs> well, I want to go where the sun is warm and shiny, but in this analogy, let's go where our true north is. Our true intentions, the person we want to be, the behavior we want to engage, so that we can feel better and proud of ourselves and serve as a role model. You might have slipped once, twice, three times, but you can always speak yourself and your balance back. You might have fallen, but you can get up and try again. Let's breathe in for five, hold for seven, out for nine. Well then you, <laughs> I hope. I sincerely hope that you are feeling a little calmer, a bit more balanced and got hold of your horses so that you can take them in the direction that you wish, that is more beneficial for your mind, for your body, for your spirit, for the person you want to be. <laughs> I hope enough. Big hug. You are doing the best you can with the resources that you have the energy that you have. Don't beat yourself about it. Ask help if you need to. And just trust that this too shall pass. And uh, with every practice, you'll get better and better. And you are rewiring your pathways in your brain. As in, this is the way I want to be. And occasionally, old ways will come up. But um, with practice, you'll be able to become more stable, stronger and more determined than ever to ride the path that you choose, not an impulse, not an automatic, that does not serve you. <laughs> you got this. I don't know. <laughs> Keep breathing. 